we're in the wood yard. Today we've got help. Brady is here. He's coming to save me. There he is. This is Brady. Hello. Brady is a freshman. Freshman. How tall are you? 6'3. What do you weigh? 180. Nothing but work, right? Yeah. Flex nothing. for me. Flex for me. See what you got. <laughs> okay. So Brady's going to load the truck up. He is my summer help and he's going to be stacking wood, loading wood, raking sawdust, hauling stuff. He's basically going to be my little slave labor boy. So there he is. Back to work. <laughs> So we're gonna do a few alterations here in the uh, wood yard. I'm running out of space, places to put wood, and I need more place, so we're gonna make more places to put wood. So my little Christmas tree farm here, which I started, I don't know, five, six years ago, planted little bitty seedlings, and they're all growing pretty good. Unfortunately, they're always in the way, especially these first, like, three rows because what I want to be able to do is to put wood so I have it on both sides of this drive where I, I come in here and make the circle around. I'm going to be able, want to be able to put wood all the way through here because I've already got wood out here kind of in the edge of the field. I'm not going to get rid of all of them. There's about 110, I think, last time I counted live trees that are in there. And I'm going to get rid of, I think, the first three rows and that'll give me a whole other section here where I can fill it in with wood. And it'll still leave me with a good 80 or so trees out there. I just hate to do it because I hate cutting trees down for no reason. Um, and these are some of the bigger ones right on the corner here, but they're already in the way. And they have been for a while because in the wintertime when I snow blow or when I come in here, I'm always right up against them and they're only going to get bigger. So and they're too big to transplant. There's a couple little ones I might be able to dig out and move to another spot, which is I think what I'm going to do. But I'm going to cut down some of these bigger ones and just chuck them sadness because they're my little babies i just trimmed them this spring so that's what we're going to do we're going to cut them down and we're going to bring a load of cherry in here that's getting loaded so that's what's going to happen
That worked. folks the day has come to an end I consumed mass quantities of liquid today I believe I drank about a gallon and a half of water and uh, it was very hot and uh, I got a lot done you met Brady earlier he was here for I don't know five six hours something like that and he stacked that pile of birch right here and then it fell over so I just restacked it um, we did get rid of all of the uh, uh, cherry that was right here and we moved it over around to the other side as You can see it is in a pile right over there And that's going to be stacked over there and then we cleared that area out so we can stack more wood over by the uh, where the oak is over there all stacked already and Then we finished I should say I think I think I finished this pile up here Well, Brady worked on something else. We finished this pile the fourth stack of oak you see here we finished this one right here so this one is done so now we can clean this out and then stack some more right in this area and we got a row of uh, cherry stacked back here and we're going to clean that out even better we cleaned out all the sawdust and bark and stuff from the area right where it is stacked here we got it cleared out just so it was dirt you saw that happen and then this is all sawdust right here I'm gonna clean all this up and then we'll stack the rest of the cherry like right in here so the Sun is setting right as we speak um, I've been here I don't know like 12 hours or something like that and I'm tired and I'm hungry so the day is ended and I'll be back tomorrow and right now you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna poke a like subscribe a hate a dislike I don't know what to do but there's a button just poke it it's a thing to do. So, the giant orb, glowing orb, has set in the west, and the cheese-covered orb it has risen in the east. So that must mean it's time for me to go home. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow. Same wood time, same wood channel. Good night, Irene.